So guys, sadly we can't work on Penelope here anymore. Because I can't make it into Shamil's driveway anymore. Thanks Shamil. Who should I thank? Abdul Malik. Shukran, Abdul Malik, shukran. Sweet, sweet Aurora. So we just pulled cars out. Make some space, everyone chilling here. And there's the new old girl as well. This is not the project that we mentioned earlier. But this is a new one to the family. Pretty sweet. So on the takeover. Yeah guys, so we're gonna we're gonna be getting pretty crazy in here today. Like we mentioned, we wanna clear up that entire section over there. Um, so that we can get the other car placed in here. Future plans, of course, we do plan on extending a bit at the back. Um, so that we ourselves have enough space to work with there. So good, it's looking way better than it did before. Brian, it really looks so good now. Imagine what it's gonna look like when we're done. Yeah. Our idea is to move that cabinet to the section here so that we basically have a closed off section. And now we can actually see what's on this desk. This desk was filled with junk, but this desk is quite important to us because it has our vice here and another little cool gadget there. And then we basically wanted to build up a display over here where we have some of our parts um, doesn't displayed. Look like that now. Yeah, it doesn't look like that now, but as you guys can see how dusty it is, but it's basically our car washers, just some lubricants that we use when we busy sanding down, set of headlights that we did over, uh, Shamil's lip, spoon lip, no? Yeah. And we have Shamil's old bumper over there as well. We need to get a, a, a better mounting place because I want to like have it because I feel it's still in the way. Yeah. But um, eventually we're going to maybe make it hang. Yeah, like so. we have, basically, we want to have a setup like this. Like we have over here, we have Shamil's old bumper. Uh, the bumper with the beatings over there and then we have my other old bumper yeah, there as well. Yeah, I want to get hooks like that. Too. Yeah. My one, oh, this is with string. Those yeah. are with hooks, yeah. Now my one, um, I actually started bending the bumper, but yeah, because it of how it's hanging, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I want to get a better one, then, so that yeah. um, it doesn't hang like that. Yeah, now we need to make a plan. We need to plan. So we're just clearing up there, and we're gonna move that this in so that we have a nice enclosed work area. Because here we have a lot of our paint supplies. And then in here as well, we have a crazy amount of material that was actually gifted to us. We already ran out of bin space. That's how brutal it's getting here. <laughs> the guys, if you're expecting like a crazy transformation, like have you seen those transformation videos, my garage transformation videos? Yeah, that's like they're painting and putting in excess of lighting and it's, stuff it's, like that. It's not gonna be that. Though. It's not, but it's, it's gonna be very nice for us. Like we already enjoy it here. We love spending time here, mm. but it's it's going to be epic for us. I, I we're, think we're also gonna appreciate the space a lot more. Yeah. Um, if like compared to what we started up before we even started with the YouTube vlogging, yeah, this was not a workable space. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So every time we, we work on the space, it, it, it gets a lot better. Yeah. And um, yeah, so now we're just making a small workshop mm. corner, mm -hmm. um, a temporary, mm -hmm. because like Rias mentioned before, we would like to expand a little bit further back yeah. to get more space. This year, basically, we're going to push this entire section because it's open here at the back. So we're going to try and extend that further, then we'll have even more space because we're going to be doing some sick bowls here, guys. We, we are. Look, we we first timers in everything, so we mention this always. DIY for us, but um, that's why we now have projects that we can learn on. Like for example, Aurora, that was a project for Shamil, for Shamil uh, and his father. Hmm. So that's why it is so special to Shamil as very, well. Very, sentimental. very, very sentimental over it. There's a, there's a lot of crazy things coming. We don't want to mention still what's coming. We'll just have to follow along the balls that we're going to be doing. There's some crazy things coming for Aurora. The next video, so stay tuned for that as well. <laughs> yeah. Definitely stay Isn't tuned. This video? Is it coming in this video? I don't okay, know. Then, then stay tuned in this video. But <laughs> yeah, because I mean, I, I want this video to just be a cleaning video because you got, don't want to watch us clean the whole time. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. At least, unless you're into that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna reveal some um, some parts and stuff for the car. Mm. Um, kind of make it a bit more authentic, more more for me, more dream parts actually. Yeah. Um, so, no, definitely, but I've been waiting long for this. Yeah. So yeah, the 16 spoon and then the the spot. We probably see it on the on the thumbnail and the title, yeah. I guess. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, not enough talking. Let's get back to work. Let's get back to work, guys. But. Right, guys. So we got the disc move over. This is basically what we were referring to when I said we basically want to have like a little hub where we have access to everything. And then we have our piece where we can work on certain things. A lot of our tools will also go in there. And now we have that space freed up there to work. Space everywhere. But it's look it's, it's looking really good thus far. Uh, very, very good. I feel so like this is now like a kitchen section where yeah. we can have a uh, <laughs> um, what do you call that shows? Um a cooking show. A cooking show, yeah. Bri off. <laughs> uh, it's bride, happy bride day people. What do we call it? Heritage Day now? Heritage Day, but it's known as Bride Day. But yeah, I say it with accent. Yeah, Bride. Bride. I'm Bride Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, so we'll finish up here and we'll show you guys the end result soon. Finally, at the final stretch, my boys already numb there from sweeping. So we actually got the bumper sorted. So that's hung up now. That's that's quite epic. And yeah, it's, it's let me just show you guys what it looks like over here. That looks so much better than it did before. Check it out. It's worked. I showed you guys this earlier as well, but it just looks so much better right now. So yeah, once we finish up here, and then um, we're just going to test the space quickly with the other car. Then we're going to fast forward to the next day, or the next next day, because the day is Friday. So Sunday, we, we're finally going to fetch the project car so stay tuned the final bit Woo! <laughs> success bro <laughs> we sorted now with all the cleaning i did just say that we're gonna meet back at day two but we're still on the same day because <laughs> we still need to test how the spacing looks, so let's get Yeah, it. we're gonna probably pull the cars in and then we can see from there. Yeah. in here so long um just to mock up the space because the other obviously the other one goes over lord yeah um this is now where my mom's car stands yeah and it's sometimes my brother's car my car can't stand here because i always drive forward him you know yeah. it's easier to reverse him here than because of that the, because of low life yeah yeah <laughs> two days later guys welcome back so we now at day two this is day three it's day two basically day two, yeah. yeah very early in the morning um we now Everything is done in the garage, so we're finally ready. We have Abdul Malik, 
who also stabbed out with his father's bucky, Mr. El Pasto. Shukran, shukran, Buddha, for allowing us to use it. Shamil is over there. Where's Shamil? Duck from the Cook Sisters. Oh yeah, guys, if you need liquor <laughs> Cook Sisters, eat Shamil up. His mom sells Cook Sisters on a Sunday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Promotion. We need to promote, bro. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, look, we we hoping we don't get too much traffic. That's why we decided to do it now early on a Sunday morning. And then it's not exactly around the corner, but it is also kind of around the corner. So yeah, we'll catch you guys soon. Just gonna make a pit stop quickly to go and fetch the seat. Otherwise, I have to sit on the kissy. I remember the last time. Or oh, breadman, yeah, because last time Shamal and I towed the car. Um, I already pulled all the interior and I sold it. But the last time we towed the car, I was sitting on a on a breadman. Let me tell you, it was definitely not comfortable. But um, yeah, we're skipping now in the Lincoln Nissan 2.4. VVL. Yeah, VVL, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we made it. There she is. She doesn't look in the condition that she <laughs> used to look. If you guys follow us on the Instagram, you'll know exactly what car we're talking about. But yeah, uh, I'll give you guys more detail on the car and why it's looking this way once we actually get it through uh, the Shamil's place. So I've already started removing some of the, the, the front end. Put it in there, the bumper. It's a fender, we already sprayed that fender. This front end actually came off from the other white ballard. But yeah, let's let's get it up. Guys, as you can see here, there's a hole in the roof. And the inside has been getting a lot of uh, water damage. There's a forest growing inside the car also. The Malik, what do you say uh, about the forest? Soon we'll be selling vegetables below. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get the car ready to tow but we've got the wheel brace one of the most important things to take the wheels off finally get the car out of the spot look here all the the leaves everything has been chilling in there we busy making a return trip quickly uh, because we forgot the wheel brace i'm just gonna look at that guy where is he that's not my fault let's just look at that guy he had one job one job. Okay, who, who are we blaming, bro? Yeah, I brought the jet. Nah, this man, I want to say, you don't want to blame Shamil now. <laughs> and later tonight, he's going to be like, Yarr, diamond. <laughs> Finally got the wheel brace, we made sure we got two. <laughs> so we can get the wheel drove. Now, for round two. The Malik is sorting out the loom here, so make it a bit easier. We are just double checking suspension. To make sure everything is tight for the road because the sky has been standing for a while as you can see collecting a lot of dirt it's not dirt man it's experience <laughs> <laughs> you think that will give an issue on the drive or oh, That though. Okay, we're at the garage now. A lot of slugs. Beetle slug. There was nothing but a. <laughs> okay, that's quite quick. I think it's going by, oh, itself. Going by itself now. So, this was so flat that there was literally no air in the tires. Yeah. So, Abdomalik, what are you busy with now? I'm using the controller to take the exhaust off. Yeah, because the uh, exhaust... Well, it's not... Okay, yeah, it's like on the floor. Never mind. Yeah, they go slam on the floor. Because this car's exhaust is over the lower controller with the pay. So... To take it off, we need to loosen the controller. We have Abdul Malik here. In the car. In the van. Tow truck. Yeah. We have the exhaust on top. We got Alpha over there. <laughs> and then the car ready to be towed. There's the driver. <laughs> yeah. Let's get this car rolling. It's moving.
Getting me on our way. Abdul Malik. <laughs> Finally made it. No, but I that was I can imagine. Everything feels a loose. So there she is. That is my flow ballast. Name undecided as per Shamil. Yeah. But Akira for now. Also, very big shout out to our boy Abdul Malik. Twenty V T, get out first. So, just some backstory on the car. The car originally belonged to my wife. This was actually our very first car that we bought. Uh, it's originally a 150i D15Z4. It was a very, very healthy car. I'm not gonna lie. I'll pop some picture of what it looked like. And then, when my wife decided she wants a different car, I bought that car. Uh, Penelope, the white one, the 180i and then I probably owned the car for five minutes and we decided we're gonna swap because I was more likely to strip out the 150i and turn it into a track car than something like that that has a bit more luxury I guess um, so I'll show you what the guy the car looked like when I actually got it from her they had coilovers, it had sunroof it was it was very nice Shamil and I actually worked a lot on the car Shamil's father actually also sprayed a lot of parts on the car for me um, so I'm very appreciative for that So yeah, so now that you can see what it actually looked like now, you know who the issue is the issue is me Because I turned it into this so the interior has been stripped the boot has been stripped the front end has been sold And this is that car's old front end the old spec front end mm. um, it, it was just in a better condition so I kept it The coil of us has also gone the moat <laughs> and the gearbox obviously most importantly is gone as well so our idea for this car is going to be a circuit build but still keep it road legal um, motor is still a little bit undecided at the moment we're still going to feel it out but as per Boonie's advice we're most likely going to go with a B18 VTEC setup uh, not B18C I don't have the funds to purchase the motor outright so it's going to yeah. be a, a bolt from the ground that, that's a dream motor for, for, for Aurora over there but it's a dream yeah. motor for all of us uh, here yeah. bro. even for this guy <laughs> Oh yeah. Um, so yeah, if you guys know of ports that's gonna be need, I'm gonna be needing a gearbox. I'm gonna B series gearbox, B series shaft, linkages, loom ECU, and basically everything else in between. Interior, I'll worry about, and then we're going to be rebuilding the entire suspension on the car. Um, the sunroof, as you can see, is gone, so we're gonna be riveting that. But all of that will come in future. So this is a car for all of us here to learn on. Mm. Obviously, Abdul Malik has a lot more expertise when it comes to the mechanical things. Yeah, you already rebuilt the ballot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're yeah. You're gonna, yeah, you're gonna see start. that soon. You're gonna see that soon as well. It's another baby that's coming. Um, but yeah, guys, stay tuned. It's it's gonna be a it's gonna be a crazy, and we're gonna show you guys some things how to also work on a budget. Because look. Neither of us here are, are rich, we don't have pots of money, so everything we do has to be on a budget, it has to be planned properly, and where we find Galakis, we'll take those Galakis. So that's why I say it is up if you guys know of anything. And um, yeah, pretty soon it will be on a track alongside Aurora. Aurora is also going to the track soon, guys. Yeah, uh, a bit nervous about it, but you know. Okay. And when I say track, I don't mean like drag, I mean actual circuit. Yeah. We, we want to experience it with its full potential. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, that might be Aurora's new exhaust also. Came yeah, 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 yeah. From this car. Yeah. So, I don't know, we probably need to cut it. <laughs> yeah, that's very really long. It's a long. But it's a straight pipe, so uh, if you hear any Honda snaking you, waking you up in your neighborhood, it's definitely Shamil. <laughs> because that is a straight pipe right there, 57 mil. Um, it's actually a very nice sounding exhaust. It was on this car previously, so. And there we go, guys car is now happily seated here so now we can start getting to work but before that like we mentioned earlier Shamil has a little surprise coming oh, something yeah. that has been waiting for for long so we're gonna get into that as soon as the duty comes yes. <laughs> 
Né? Cadê o flash bump, Oh, super bright. Fresh, fresh, fresh. So on this guy. Yo, that looks so clean. I'm surprised it's on its way for Aurora. It Look pretty epic. Can't wait to get those goodies for the Soon, soon we'll start working on Penelope again. Get the respray done. Yeah, because we only spray the front end as you guys can see. It's much whiter after we facelifted the car. Slowly, slowly. Okay, you clear. Go for it. Go for it. Let me just check for you in front. Hold on. Come. Still busy clapping it. Abdul Malik just doing a few touches there on the wing, making sure everything's well, perfect. This, this wing came with a, a hole for the, for the water. water yeah. Oh, there. Hmm. Six hundred. Oh, yeah, fine. I don't like wet. How clean this looks. It's nice. There's a small little detail that matters, guys. Yo buddy, what's up? Alright, alright. Look at this. Uh, yeah, when they go fetch another one, actually they're inside. How's it bro? My hands are... In case. So this is the wing. But yeah. Like, like basically like yours. Like his friend. Oh, is it cut? Yeah. Yeah, this is what this we did a a, a new spec conversion on this actually. Oh, oh looks nice. Yeah. Oh, this is the wing. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even check it out. Oh, brother, this is gonna look so clean. I right, just need to put some clear on though. Yeah, yeah, they they, they do yellow over time, so we can sand it down. We re-clear. Mm. It's fast and it's a sand it down. carbon fiber, bro. Sand it down. It just That's actual it. carbon fiber. Yo. It's a lucky. It's a mess. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, just to clear up what they said now, uh, this guy bought the car. Uh, not him. No, no, not, not him. His friend. Yeah, yeah. Someone I know bought the car on their way home. They fell down in their seat. <laughs> and then they realized that the floor was rusted. Sure. In the shops. Imagine that's like Fast and Furious vibes, you know. Where the, the manifold is overheating. Fresh my car out at the sea point vibes. Move, bruh. Yes. <laughs> Got the spoon wing off. The okay, wing is back on. It's pretty sweet. And there we go. So, yeah, then it's my foot is on my corner. Yeah, that's the plan, bro. I'm gonna pull it in and take that one off. Yeah.
Okay, clear. Oh. <laughs> Mission! <laughs> yeah, it looks proper. Yeah, it's your part. Uh, it looks yeah. proper. With the cat bumper, with the spoons, everything. And I like the reflection of your sticker as well. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, bruh. It's a bit of adjustment from a big wing like that. And that is the original carbon fiber spoon wing. Let's put it onto Aurora and it looks absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Oh, that reflection actually does look sick, no? Uh, On the, the spoon sticker. Oh, that looks absolutely brilliant. We're gonna try to refresh the clear on the on the wing, and um, yeah, I'm gonna shout shout out to my man here. What's that? Me the wing. <laughs> no worries. Tell me the flexing his muscles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the the, the color on on the, on on the road is OEM wing on his car actually stands up also a lot. Yeah, that looks sick. And it's actually I, I, like in my in my head I thought it was gonna look so bad, but it doesn't actually look bad at all. Yeah, it looks proper. But yeah, you just get uh, white and color match it. Yeah, guys. So the plans for 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 that car, uh, as mentioned by the owner, is he's going to be making it OEM, OEM plus, fresh again. Plus, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it is a, a B16 VTEC. He's going to be making it OEM uh, plus, hence the wing. And it's actually letting go of something as it is a spoon wing and then um, it's going to refresh everything on the car as well the car still has a very nice set of spoon mirrors still on pretty cool but yeah so it's a new spec civic what year model 99. 99 model very nice and once the car is oem plus you're going to be selling it Definitely, it will be up for sale by probably next month. Next month, because you need a dad vehicle. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> well, there you guys have it. If you are interested, be sure to check back. Uh, we will drop your details. Is that yep, cool? That's perfect. Cool, cool. So we'll drop all the details and then you guys can just make contact. But um, swapping out for a stock bumper. Stock bumper. Stock yeah. grill also. Guys, if, if, if you know anyone that has a stock OEM grill with a big H, let us know, right? There's a buyer right here. And then, um, so the fog lights, this bumper will also be for sale. With the fog lights, it does have both covers. So if you guys are interested, give a shout. Um, and then the car, like, like I mentioned, it's going to be OEM Plus. And this car is, is in a very nice condition, I must say. Interior is immaculate. Motor sounds very lovely, so yeah. Drop those deets. Um, it was a bit all over the show um, when we started, but uh, we have accomplished uh, basically everything we set out to do today. For mm. the, not today, even that Friday also when we started. Yeah, 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 when we started. So yeah, short for sticking around, and uh, there's many more to come for all the boys. Whoever's involved, I mean, we even got a new subscriber here also. Short, bro. <laughs> Cheers, guys. <laughs> Anyways, safe. Cheers, guys. Peace.